Our top news this week. Venus Optics has just announced the company is bringing out a couple of very interesting optical accessories for their Lawa 25-100 to CineZoom. The company is bringing to market a 1.33 times rear anamorphic adapter, as well as a 1.4 full-frame extender, further enhancing the impressive characteristics of their professional CineZoom. With the new rear anamorphic adapter, cinematographers can get the 2.35 to 1 widescreen anamorphic look on cine cameras with traditional 16x9 sensors, while the full-frame expander will enable the Lawa CineZoom to be used on large-format cine cameras such as the Sony Venice. Anton Bauer is adding more power options for the Sony FX9. The legendary battery brand announced a new dual micro bracket for the FX9, available in both V-mount and Gold Mount. This accessory gives FX9 users the ability to power their camera for extended periods of time with powerful but yet compact micro batteries. In addition, this micro bracket also features a unique quick hinge design, which attaches to the extension unit mounting points on the back of the FX9. And last but not least, this battery bracket also steps up the power output to the required 19.5 volts DC. Canon has announced the development of the new EOS R3 full-frame mirrorless camera. The new camera will be officially announced later in the year and will feature a brand new and robust professional body with a built-in vertical grip, just like the 1DX Mark III DSLR. Aimed at professional sports and wildlife photographers, the upcoming EOS R3 will feature a brand new back-illuminated full-frame sensor, as well as prioritize superb autofocus performance and speed with fast-moving subjects. Canon also say their new EOS R3 will leverage deep learning AI technology and have the ability to shoot at blazing fast speeds of up to 30 frames per second in electronic shutter mode with full dual pixel AF. And that's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.